This box actually came from Vampire Robots, courtesy of Michael Trakowski. So thank you very much for the uh, fast shipping. I appreciate it. And I've uh, been way more excited about this box than I probably led on to believe. So now I think I'm going to open it. I think I'm just going to use this knife here I found in the kitchen. Uh, it should work pretty good against something like this. I mean, it's just a box. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, I didn't want to, like, edit this a fuckload, so I'm not using any other microphone other than my iPhone, so it probably sounds like, you know, probably what, like, shitty audio sounds like, but... You know, maybe I should have grabbed a knife. This thing is dull. There's always goodies when you're getting boxes from Michael. So let's see what's let's see what's behind this. Ooh, another copy of Godzilla Oblivion. This was done by Jeff Zornow, if you guys didn't know. He's a great artist and probably one of the best like IDW covers, in my honest opinion. I mean, pretty fucking cool. You can correct me in the comments if you want, Michael, but I think you told me, wasn't, didn't he do, isn't this supposed to be like 84, sort of? Because I know you love 84. That might be like literally so wrong, but I, I don't care. I, I think, I remember talking to you about that one time. You're welcome. I'll have fun cleaning this up later. And there he is, holy shit, after an 18 month delay. In case you were so excited by my new upload, I mean, just seeing Super Goji in your feed probably made you go batshit insane. Like you just, you couldn't control yourself. So you just clicked the video as fast as you could and you couldn't read the title. But this is the Ultraman 7 suit or Ultraman suit version 7, Ultra 7. Dan Moriboshi, fuck, whatever you want to call him. This is Ultra 7 from the Ultraman anime that premiered on Netflix in a year that I can't remember off the top of my head, so I'm going to put it over top of the video. I read the Ultraman manga when it was first coming out, and I really liked the way they took the story. After playing around with this guy here behind the table at G-Fest, um, I eventually convinced myself that I couldn't leave the convention without one, so I actually got that from Michael as well. So it was kind of a no-brainer that I had to get seven to go with it. I mean, this first one seriously blew me away in every aspect. And don't get me wrong, I love Ultraman and I'm a very big fan of it, but it's not something that like, they're not my automatic go-to for collecting. So it's like really funny to me how this one's become one of my favorite figures in my entire collection. I mean, it, it's outstanding and it's, I think single-handedly the figure to get me into one six scale collecting, unless you want to count 30 centimeter X plus, I, I don't really count that. When I think of one six, I think of shit like this. So let's get this guy out of the box and see what he looks like. So I knew this going in, but the box for this release is completely different than the box for um, this guy right here. It's a little less of a premium feel, but like, I don't really care. This guy was, I don't know about retail pricing, so I'm, I'm not researching that because I just wanna open this and play with it. But I know I paid more for the original than I did this. This was like 130 retail give or take, so obviously some things had to be sacrificed, such as the super fucking badass incredible box that we got with the first one. That's like, that's like one of the best boxes I've got with any figure. I would get it out to show you in this video, but it's buried deep, deep in my closet and I'm way too lazy to go do that. In the back we get, ooh, actually a warranty sheet. That's pretty interesting with 3-0 logo, and then these are just the instructions explaining how this guy works. He's um, He also has light up, just like the original, so it shows you how to light this guy up, where his batteries go, and all that shit. Here he is in this plastic housing, giving me that Michael Myers look, and everything's in there really securely, so I don't have any problems with this packaging yet. It's pretty much boxed up like any other, like, Monster Arts figure, so, you know, it's in there safe enough, it's wrapped up in plastic, and everything looks to be intact, so that's very good. As I say that, I just noticed that with this clamshell, 
the his little blades that go on the top of his head here, whatever the fuck you want to call them, they're actually sort of slid out. That's just like a QC thing. I mean, there's no paint rub on them. They're fine, but I noticed that this did lift up a little bit and these kind of slid a little bit out right there, but that's no big deal. No big deal at all. These guys are just, rather than being in a nice, beautiful foam insert, they're just in little individual plastic baggies back here, and that is just secured with some scotch tape, so that comes off fairly easy. There you go. Top of the casing pulls up just like so. Little piece of plastic. And then Seven can come out and play. So to make sure he doesn't have, you know, a thousand million scuffs all over him, he has a lot of plastic covering him. Again, just like how Monster Arts does with a lot of other figures. Actually, I don't even know how that's... Is he... Is that gonna... Fuck it. I actually had to run through the kitchen real fast. Those were um, on there pretty good. And I had to grab a pair of scissors to free him from his little, I wouldn't call it prison. I don't know. I guess he had some extra clothes on, but he's out. I haven't moved him around too much. I kind of just sent him back on the stool there to do the video. But from what I've noticed, I've already seen a couple of spots where they sort of figured out how to cheapen things up, I think. From what I've noticed, the joints on this figure are nice, tight, responsive, and I'm really liking that. I have yet to dig into the rest of the box here, such as this guy. And, uh, wait, thinking. Okay, now I know what this is. So after thinking for a second, I'm almost positive this goes on his thigh. So Dan, Seven, or whatever, can run... Yep, I'm fucking... I'm a goddamn genius. Seven can run around with his sword and sheath. But I'm going to give you guys the same warning I got. And um, this guy seems pretty... Pretty delicate right here. This this is a very small peg, and it's not even very tight. It kind of just... Oh, definitely watch out. Watch out for this. If this snaps, you're fucked, unless you have super glue. So that could be a problem, but as long as you don't roughhouse your toys, you should be fine. No, I actually am really, really just as impressed with this guy as I was with the first release. I'm already going on 20 minutes of footage, so, you know, I think I'm going to save my more reserved thoughts for a review of some kind um because i definitely i've wanted to review the first one for a long time and i think this finally gives me the perfect excuse to dig into these thank you everyone for watching this unboxing i'm looking at it now and just from having to play around with it and fuck around i've got 27 minutes of footage so i think i'm gonna save the more detailed stuff and a lot of my real opinions and judgments for when I finally review this guy. It might be sort of a dual review because I've always wanted to review the original, but I haven't gotten around to it. And well, now I've got seven. So that might be a good excuse to do a longer review video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more unboxings, toy reviews, toy rants, Godzilla this, Godzilla that, Ultraman stuff, Gamera stuff. Fuck it, Pogasari stuff, whatever you want. We're doing crazy, crazy, crazy shit here on the channel. Don't forget about my Instagram. The link will be in the description below. I post there practically daily. So definitely, if you like the content here, go support me over there. Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you next time.